Is that an uncircumcised hoodie? What the f is that his turtleneck? He sent me a turtleneck? <laughs> Bull is a laugh, dude. Like, what is he thinking when he sees that? I'm just all fing <laughs> dab. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty twenty four, January third. Let's do a a fun little review of twenty twenty three and how the year was for us. And, uh, some fun clips that we've captured over the year. And before we do that, I wanted to show you guys just some cool like PUBG gifts and whatnot that I've been given from PUBG over the year or years of being a PUBG partner. Some of them I've never opened, so I figured it'd be kind of fun for us to uh, do that. So, um, first one, most of you have already seen in the background. This is an older one, but PUBG sent me um, a like PUBG labeled skateboard. It's still wrapped up in the little packaging. You can see Stella even sits on this thing and we like scooter around the uh, around the room. She loves riding on this thing. That's a really cool. And this was for a uh, Destin, I believe, right? The city of Ripton in Destin. That was like the theme of that one. So that would have been sometime last year since that's when Destin came out. That was really cool. And it came in a cool uh, PUBG box. Let me get the box. That one came in a really cool PUBG box. And you can see they, you know, they took took their time. Whoa, took their time. Um, and putting everything together, packed in it nicely. It was really, really, really cool. Then, for PUBG's sixth year anniversary, they sent uh, me one of their disc plates. The, like the hard metal plates. One of the disc plate six year anniversary dads. Which is really, really cool. This one, unfortunately, got beat up in shipping which is unfortunate, um, but I told them, don't, don't worry about it. I'll just, you know, I'll just kind of live with it. But yeah, I thought that was really, really cool. And I, I keep it usually hung up on my, uh, my desk in the background. So you guys can't see it, but I do. I think it's just really, really neat. And uh, I was actually thinking about getting some disc plates too, because disc plate has some really cool stuff that you can buy. And they you know, make a uh, landscape, they make um, portrait stuff, and they make bigger ones too. This is a, uh, what is this? Like a 15 by, no, 20 by 15. Maybe it's pretty big. I mean, look. Pretty goddamn big. That's cool. This was, when did they send this? I think this was from the chicken dinner, uh, the the big cartoon chicken event on Karakin. You remember that big goofy chicken that would walk around and you had to like kill it while you were fighting the other players? I think this was from that. I, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, it's not taped up, so I'm gonna go and open it. And I think it's just like plushy, right? Yeah, but it's, uh. It's got a, a chicken with a level three, a level three helmet. Check it out. The chicken with a level three helmet. Does the helmet open? Oh, it does. Look, the helmet even opens up. How cool is that? If you're into, you know, collectibles or getting plushies and little ornaments and stuff, it says born to loot on the top. So I can embroider it on there. So I thought that was really cool. Nice little details. This is actually, I think, purchasable too, huh? It's from the company U2s, T-O-O-Z. PUBG Chicken Sticky. PUBG Chicken Sticky is what it's called. So that was really cool. And obviously it comes in this cool little, um, like, you know, level three crate package. So I just kind of keep that uh, on the desk. Again, it's some little desk ornament stuff. Back in the package. Your puppy would destroy that. No! My dogs would actually love to freaking get after that. They, they would love that. What's really funny is that my dogs are so damn smart. They like, Stella has like, you know, some dolls and like whatever, little little toys and stuff, stuffed animals and stuff. They like, don't even consider going after her toys. Like they just know like that's not theirs. They're so, they're so smart with that kind of crap. Weird. Um, now this one, I haven't opened this up. This is, I think one of the first ones they ever sent me. You can kind of tell like the older, uh, logo that they have on here, PUBG Studios, and on top it just says a little shirt size. I think it's so, small, medium. Um, so I'm assuming it's, it's clothing, if I remember right, um, in here. So take a look. Just smelling it. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes clothing can have a weird smell if it's left in a box for a while. Oh damn, it's a, it's a big. Wait, what? Is it a jacket? Oh shit. Oh damn. Damn. That's actually pretty cool looking. Look, it's a PUBG partners jacket. 
Look at that thing. Damn. The front says PUBG on the sleeve. It's got like a black and blue level three helmet and it's embroidered on there. And then on this side, it says PUBG Battleground Partners. Look at that. Dude, that's actually really dope. Now I feel stupid for not opening that. I could, <laughs> I could have totally worn this. It's freaking cold as hell outside right now. It's like in the 40s uh, where I'm at. Okay, so this was, this was around Tago. Oh, 2020, this is 2022 gift. From the towns of Tago to the mountains of Miramar, we've journeyed together across the battlegrounds, creating memories in the pursuit of those priceless chicken dinners. Thank you for your passion for PUBG. Bring on 2022. So this was 2021. This must have been the first year I was a PUBG partner, huh? Nice quality zipper too. Oh, look at the inside of this thing. Damn. It's a uh, level three helmets everywhere. And on the side, it says PUBG Studios, 100% polyester. A little, you know, to give you a little instructions to wash. Damn. Little inside jacket pocket. That's pretty nice. Giggle says, I'll give you 25 for that jacket right now. It's worth more than 25, bro. This is a limited edition 2021. This is the 2021 jacket. A little tight on my arms because I'm so goddamn swole. But dude, that actually fits really nice. Wow, look at that. What do you work for? It's okay. I'm a limo driver. Huh? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. This is nice. This is nice. Like a, like a cushion collar. Damn. Damn. All right. Now the question is, will I get, will I get noticed wearing that jacket outside? Like, will anybody notice? Hey, is that a PUBG jacket? How'd you get that jacket? It's a little, little tight on the wrist arm area. That's all right. Overall, I'm like really Surprise, impressed. Jesus, really impressed with this. That's it. It's empty. Okay. I'm for sure keeping. I'm gonna I wash this and, and wear it. Two years to open that. Hang your head in shame. <laughs> shame. I was. It was a relic. I was keeping a relic for everybody. What's up, Disney? Yo, thanks for the tier one for 33 months. Welcome back to the dome. What's up, baby? Uh, let's see. I have not opened up this one. This one is still taped and sealed. And uh, it just has this picture here. I think my knife is downstairs. I'm gonna improvise and use a, use a pin. You guys ever done this to open up tape? Walk a hole in with a pin. No one's taped in there pretty, pretty darn good. We got it. All right, I'm greeted with some bubble wrap. See something that says PUBG? PUBG Battlegrounds. Oh, okay. It's a metal metal plate container with like a blue white wave like painting on it. It's a two thousand dollar laptop. <laughs> it's a winning Powerball ticket from the year twenty twenty two. Uh, how do I open this thing? Let's see. Hello, PUBG partner. We would like to thank you for your unwavering support for PUBG Battlegrounds. You've brought so much fun and joy to us all through the content you've created and you've made PUBG Battlegrounds, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds Battlegrounds, feel like more than a game. We feel a great sense of responsibility as we embark on this new beginning which lies ahead of us. We will be going free to play in January 2022. So this is also at the end of 21. And we're excited to share this milestone and its momentum with you. We look forward to continuing to, to be your reliable companion on the Battlegrounds journey and are sending this gift as a token of our appreciation, the PUBG Battlegrounds team. Please insert your metal plate as shown. So instructions. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. There's actually a few things in here. Hold the phone. Damn, look at this. Yeah, that's freaking cool looking. Look at this thing. Level three helmet, level three backpack, and a what kind of gun is that? I can't tell. M4 looks like maybe the tax stock of an M4. Dude, that's pretty sick looking, huh? 
And then they also had in here like just some little artwork. Um, level three helmet, UMP. Little like a uh, level three helmet kind of embroidered in there, a stamped on there. It's a hundred thousand G coin. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is a cool shot of Paramo. Figure it out. There you go. Cool shot of Paramo. Imagine if the lava actually looked like that. Very cool. Uh, cool shot of Tago here, leaping off the bridge. Yeet. Very cool. Uh, oh, a nice shot of the Erangel bridge game. Look at that. That's very appropriate for the stream. Check that out. Very cool. Um, oh, wow. Yo, throwback. Do you guys remember it? A lot of y'all aren't going to remember this. The OG Sandhawk with the loot trucks. Dude, look at this. Y'all remember this? The OG Sandhawk 2.0 with the loot trucks that you could blow up and get all the gear and stuff out of them. That's freaking cool. I do like that a lot. And then uh, looks like Miramar, probably. Some more glider action. He's actually really, really cool. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of put it where you don't have to sit it on that, but check it out. Look at that. That's really cool. That, that's going to go up somewhere on one of my shelves or something. Very cool. Thanks, PUBG. Look at that, dude. You guys have already seen this one. I already kind of unboxed this one with you guys. This is the one that had all of my candies and the trolley um, clothing. Like they sent me a um, a trolley sweater and sweatpants. They're a little small for me, so I gave them to my wife. But they're like literally they look like sour gummies all over the the hoodie and the sweatpants. And they gave me a bunch of like candy, and I've been eating all those that's just you know big level three crate inside it's empty now but you know, there was stuff full of um the clothes and the candy that was really cool that was uh that was this year like 2023 what's up mike this last one was just just sent to me like a week ago about a week ago week ago um and it came from crafting oh it's a new, uh, another clothing clothing piece this one is small, medium, hopefully more in the medium, less in the small. Uh, if it fits like the other jacket fit, should be pretty good. Let's crouch, baby. You spent $400 in the contraband created cosetum crates? Holy crap, dude. Bro, look at this thing. Look at this. Look at this. Wait, is that a hoodie? Wait, what's happening here? Is that an uncircumcised hoodie? What the fuck is that? His turtleneck? He sent me a turtleneck? Bro, what? What am I looking at? Oh, look on the sides. On the sleeves. Does that say... Does that say PUBG? It looks like it says PUBG, huh? Let me, let me put it on. This thing's gonna be hot. This thing is heavy. It's a pullover. Thanks for noticing. Look at this. What y'all think? Dude, this thing's comfy. It's cozy, dude. I feel sophisticated as fuck in this thing. What's happening? What what's happening here? What is this? What is it? Zi nothing zips or syringes, cinches. What does it tighten up? I don't understand. Maybe if you have a thick neck. Oh, oh, I get it. Um, damn, huh? PUBG, PUBG, PUBG. Same thing on this side. PUBG, 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 dude. Cool. Little PUBG logo.
This is nice. Yo, this is like, like th I'm not trolling. You could get away with wearing this to like a nice, like bar. A little nightcap bar. Nobody would, would bat an eye. You would blend right on in. Order you a nice glass of wine. Or a little, little fancy mixed drink. Nobody would even question. Yes, sir. Coming right up. Meanwhile, I'm just like, wait till we get home. Um, this is, I don't know what's happening here. Is this how you do this? Or is this like a, all right. Then you really go to the bar and get what you want. This is cool. <laughs> this is cool. Hey, you could, no, you could totally wear this in the real world. My wife would for sure look at me weird with, with this, but honestly jokes on her if it's cold outside, because my neck is not going to be cold. This thing is like thick. It's a thick material. <laughs> Get third partied. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Dude, I'm, I'm impressed. The, with the other sweater they sent this one, like this is, and they're completely different material too. This is like a thick wool. That other one was like a, like a, a windbreaker type of jacket. Please roll the collar. Can you roll the collar? I don't know. Okay. Like that? Like how many roll in or roll out? Roll out. Like that? Yes. I'd like your nicest glass of Chardonnay, please. Like that? Interesting. This is, uh, this is impressive. Yeah, they're exactly. The logos are very, like this one is a little kind of on the nose, obviously, but it, it's small. It's like, you can kind of like, nobody would really know the arms. They ain't no one, like no one's going to notice that. If I didn't point it out to you guys, you, there's no way you would know. Look like a wish Clark Kent. Thank you. Yes. That, that's yep. Thank you. Needed, needed that for my ego today. I'll have your $7 ist <laughs> glass of Riesling. Yeah. Hell yeah. This is nice, dude. I wish it was like hot or colder in my room, my stream room. Cause I would actually wear some of this here, but it just, it gets way too hot in this room. With my computers, I'm burning a candle, freaking little AC units pumping, doing its thing. Matter of fact, the wife and I just went out to eat last night. We took Stella for a little sushi date. And um, this girl freaking ate everything, dude. She she tried a little taste of the sushi. She wasn't crazy for it. But she ate like a little chicken teriyaki thing. And, and she was eating everything we gave her, essentially. But uh, I was like, man, I'm thinking like, I could I could have worn something like this. Wouldn't have batted an eye. She'll be like, oh, when'd you get your new jacket? I was at the mall the other day. Well, no, she knows I don't go to the mall. I ordered to Amazon. I just, I got to try, try it out. Uh, no, I not, not sashimi. Um, so I got, um, I had a California roll, which I guess that's technically not really sushi. And then I had, um, I tried a fire roll because I figured Stella would get a kick out of it. It was like a roll that they lit on fire at the table. So it was, you know, flames and shit at the table, which was just kind of fun to get her reaction from that. Um, that was pretty good. And then the wife gets, um, she doesn't really do like raw fish. So she's not a big like sushi fan, but she likes like the cooked rolls. So she got this roll where it's like snow crab. Um, they like, uh, they fry it. Um, there's like rice and whatever the bullshit in there, but like no like salmon or tuna or nothing like that for her. I get down with some of that though. In a roll. I don't really do sashimi though. I've tried lo I I Ivy tried lobster tonight for the first time. What is, is she like texture, a, a texture person? Like if Stella, well, Stella did eat the calamari. We had fried calamari and I, I peeled off like the fried skin and she ate the skin. And then I gave her chunks of the calamari and she ate that too. I thought for sure she was going to be like, Ooh, no. Cause it's like very spongy, but, but she liked it. And she usually is like a texture kind of person. Like if it's like mushy, she's like, nah, I don't really care for it. 
Is it made of wool? Uh, it feels like it, but let me, I guess, read the freaking thing and see. It's 50% cotton combed and 50% acrylic draylon? Draylon? I've never even heard of that. D-R-A-L-O-N? Made in Poland. I've never even heard of acrylic draylon. Draylon. That's the problem with sushi. We spent 60 bucks. It was, it was, yeah, they were about 60 bucks for the three of us to eat. And all, again, all we had was, I say all we had, we had, like, we didn't get any drinks. We usually get like a couple glasses of wine, but we just, just had waters tonight. The wife had like her, her roll, which is like a, a specialty roll. I had my specialty roll, one California roll, fried calamari, and then the little, little kids teriyaki box, which is actually, it's a lot of food. We have like a whole box of leftovers for Stella. It's a, you know, a, probably a chicken's breast worth of chicken, a bunch of veggies, some fruit, and then some like fried rice and then some dumplings. So there's a good bit of stuff in there. And it's, uh, you know, 60 bucks for all that. It's good. Um, okay. Anyway, so back to the, the, the PUBG gifts and whatnot, that's, that's it. That's all of my PUBG gifts. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I haven't shown that you guys maybe have, uh, um, I'm like, they gave me a little pamphlets and bandanas and whatnot, you know, that's it for the PUBG gifts. Still, that's a, we just, that's a bunch of really cool stuff, man. So that's been really cool to, uh, get all those kind of, kind of things and just be involved in the PUBG partner program. It's been, I guess, since 2021, that's been like three years almost. And, um, yeah, the partnership's been great. Last year was our first ever sponsored video by PUBG, like where they actually paid me to make a video for them. And uh, so that was a really cool accomplishment. And um, I got to play in quite a few PUBG partner tournaments. We got to play with TIG in the, remember that blue bomb rush mode? Uh, so that was really cool getting to play with TIG. Going to TwitchCon was freaking awesome last year. Met all kinds of really cool people. I got to meet TIG in person. And that's when he freaking uh, he swapped me in to his PUBG mobile tournament, which was freaking crazy. I sat next to Dan Nuke. I was playing with her and uh, Avery and, you know, a bunch of other like big, big streamers and stuff were, were there. That was really, really cool. Just a fun experience. Got to meet Bob for the first time and hang out with him and just like just meet all the PUBG community, which is awesome. That was really, really fun. Um, what else for 2023? We made Twitch partner finally, like seven years after streaming. We finally made Twitch partner, which is a, a huge accomplishment for us. We just hit 20K subs on YouTube. So it's, uh, yeah, safe to say 2023 is a great year for us, man. Honestly, if there's one thing that I could hope for, for 2024, like something, I don't want to say it's a goal, but it would really make me happy to achieve it. So I guess you call it a goal, goal is have my own sea dome skin in PUBG. I think that would be the sickest thing ever. I don't know if it's in the cards. I don't know if it's possible. Like, like I don't, I don't know none of the details, but man, that would be freaking dope. That would be really freaking cool if I could uh, get a sea dome skin set. Did you get to see Bob without the glasses? Yes, he does have real people eyes. Bob is a handsome man, chat. What skin would you like? Have you imagined the sea dome set? So I, okay. One of the things I want to do this year, just for fun, is uh, get my buddy a, a PUBG. He's someone who, who does art for PUBG now. He does all kinds of other stuff, but Yufsa is a um, person who's made skins for PUBG. He made Bob skins. He's, he's made a lot of people's skins. He does fan skins, uh, esports skins, uh, the Sonics esports skins, really, really good stuff. I want him, I want to commission him to make some skins for me for what I would envision my PUBG skins to look like. So I've got some ideas and um, we've talked about them a number of times in this channel. Like I would definitely, it, it, the weapon would just totally depend on what they would give me. Because if, if I could choose, I would say MG3. I want an MG3 skin, but I, I, that's, I don't, that's not how it works. You know, that they would say, all right, well, look, we, if they say that I can have a skin, it may not even be a skin set. It might just be like, you get one weapon skin, no clothing, no emotes, whatever. What do you, you know, and you can choose between an ump and a scar. Like, you know, who knows? Um, or they could be like, yeah, sure. What do you want to do? Let's make a full, a full, like a wacky Jackie skin set clothing, one or two guns, emotes, like all kinds of stuff. I'm like, damn, 
MG3 would be what I want to do. I would have to have some kind of tank top outfit for the for players to wear. The gun skin would be some kind of purple and green themed. And the, uh, you know, we'd have like some, some of our sayings maybe on the gun, like let's grouch or dum dum or something like, you know, we'll kind of incorporate stuff like that on the gun. Uh, a spray emote would be like a flexing emote. The MG3 doesn't even have a skin. No, it does not. A muscle suit would be badass. Muscle suit would be badass. Like there's, there's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. So yeah, that would be like, um, my big like 2024, like, Ooh, if I can achieve that, let's take a look at some of the top rated clips most viewed clips of my channel let's take a trip down memory lane some of these are new some of these are five years old let's take a look you guys are trolling me you want me to get a mini 14 skin look if they offered me a mini 14 skin let me be just completely open and honest i'm taking the worst gun in the game and getting that mini 14 skin there's no question about it what's up gnarly rhino hey buddy i would 100 percent take a mini 14 skin uh all right so i'm going to my clips I'm rating from um, most viewed. The first clip is by Brendan's Games. Shout out in chat, Brendan's. And this was labeled easy content, has 769 views. This was, I recognize this one. This was the squad RPG play. Hold on, let me move my camera. I'm blocking the old me. This is when I was hunting a squad. Tactical gear. <laughs> multiple RPGs. They should loop back in with the less. There wasn't. These guys ended up coming into my chat and were in this chat. talking mad trash to me. Talking mad trash to me after. Saying that I was like ratting them or something like that. That was a fun match. Hey, speaking of, we got the Bob skin right there. Noises. That was a fun one. You're hiding like bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it just got all three of them with the nade. <laughs> got him. No, 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 I do no, miss no, tactical no. gear for that reason. I do miss tactical gear for that reason. Oh, that was a good one. This next one is an old one. Five years ago. I For the longest time, I never knew like what 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 my chat meant about... No, that was the new Vikendi there, Misty. That was five months ago. Um, what they meant by this, they titled it Papa Dome doing his best summit impression. And this is by Eek. A long, long time channel member. Uh, feature this clip. This has 489 views five years ago. And apparently, for those that don't know, the, the context behind this, Summit in like a tournament or something basically killed himself with a Molotov. He was like in the middle of like about to win a 1v1 in a tournament, like a Counter-Strike tournament or something like that. And he killed himself with a Molotov. And so you can imagine what happens here. Look, it's this is 720p. This is how long? Five years ago. This is when you used to have a green screen, a little webcam, uh, animated chat on the freaking thing. It's me and Mike Stan. We're, we're playing squads with a motorbike, Mike, and um, Customs. Customs was, was with us. It's a 2v1. There's three people alive. Mike Stan, the butt pan man, is downed. My helmet vest cracked. I'm very little health. We're at the end circle. It's a 1v1 at this point. I think the guy's in the shack, the enemy. It's gonna be on the hill, probably. Really? And Molotov. Oh no. Oh no. You burn yourself that alive. You've just killed yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now be on chat, be honest. Be honest. What's up, Trap? Do you think that Molotov 
should have spread how far out it spread. Look how long it took to spread. This is on console PUBG back in the day, like OG Xbox. Like OG Xbox five years ago. Gonna be on the hilltop. Molly into the, the a little hole. Great Molotov, by the way. I mean, killer Molotov. I come back here and I would have, I would have been fine, but stands all, can you get me? Look, I'm chilling. Can you get me? So I go to get him and this thing just starts spreading out of the building. And then boom, we're both on fire. Oh no. Oh no. Don't burn yourself Dickhead. alive. You just killed yourself. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I had 11 kills. I had a, that was a that was a big bat. 11 kills. We had 212 chicken dinners. We're about to get our 213th chicken dinner. Gonna be on the hilltop. Get me? Can you get me? This is when the M249 was a crate weapon, by the way. Oh, at M249 oh no, AWM. You just killed yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 yeah so uh let's let's go pull up the summit because when they said you know doing best summit impression summit 1g molot molotov seven years ago back to back, but he gets caught trying to trade out a gun fugly finding another one jason r trades it back and now it's Summit in the 1v1 to try and close this out against Bugly. Bugly playing it aggressively. No, let's okay. clutch it and slice. We'll close out map number one, 16 to 11. So Summit just won the 1v1. This is search and destroy. So when you, when you kill everybody, you still have to go and defuse the bomb. Oh, wait. What? They're going to show a replay? No! What happened? Here. Oh no! He walks into the Molotov. No! He walks into the Molotov, dies before he's able to defuse the bomb in front of 200,000 people. <laughs> What's up, Trevor? What's up, Spartan? So that's why they said see him doing his best summit impression. And we'll close out map number one, 16 to 11. Oh, wait. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. So, so, there, so there's that. Um, next up, last month, Seedum tries out Rondo for the first. Okay, this was, this was a troll moment for me. This is my first game of Rondo, and I wanted to experience the new city drop. Maybe we go here. It should be, it should be kind of like, you know, chill. Is this not rendering in? What's going on here? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Is it? <gasps> what the hell? I flew out of the map and took damage thinking that that was the city. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the city. That's not even the city, bro. That's out of the map. <laughs> idiot. I mean, what an idiot. <laughs> Oh no, we are down bad, dude. I thought that was I thought that was honest city. mistake. Honest I mistake. Like, why is it not rendering in? I'm taking damage. Oh my god, bro. honest mistake. I'm a troll. Yes, you are. Uh, who clipped that one? Oh, I clipped that one. That was me. Shout out, see them. Um, next one is Olympus clipped by Olympus me. Two hundred and ninety-seven views five months ago titled panzered oh no this is the oh no oh no this is the infamous bob panzer what's up lucky did y'all do it too <laughs> thank god tune in for more to pubg tactics by cedo this one i'm still n i'm i'm not giving in to this one by the way I'm not. This is on PUBG. It didn't pull out my second gun after I panzered him. What? 
What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> He just loses it. <laughs> what do you mean? Done after I panzered him. What? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> My immediate reaction. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we now we went back. We went back on this replay and we dissected it. This was not my fault. Was not. Could I be, could I have a part of the blame? Sure. It was my rocket. But. It didn't pull out my second gun after I. Bob kept crawling. He didn't sit still. So his player moved up the slope of the hill. And my body was above Bob. But for some reason, the rocket like comes out like at your chest and not like where the rocket is. So you shoot, but the rocket actually comes out below you. And Bob's body was like floating on this like this little ledge thing. I can't show you here, but in, in the replay, we, it was like, what? Like, there's no way it actually did that. Because look, I mean, look, look, look at like where I'm aiming and where Bob's body is. And I, I, this kills him. Because look, right there, you see? He's, he keeps crawling. And then... The rest is history. What? <laughs> what are you doing? What, what, what are you what? doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> classic classic he loses it uh shout out olympus uh thanks for the clip um decaf platypus live my dog five months ago 282 views and he said PUBG doing PUBG things let's take a look oh there's a level three helmet that we printed out the visor detaches Oh my god, what's happening? Oh. On the bottom. We just Oh, that's right. I think we lagged out. What? What is that? Dude, my god just spawned fucking free falling. No! We lagged. Actually, we lagged out twice apparently. Lagged out, we came back in oh, no. and I was free falling with no parachute. And then I guess yes, I crashed yes, again. Get back in. Oh no, what happened, dude? <laughs> dude, my god, it's just like, hey! Thank god I was paying attention. I had to pull the parachute. What the hell? Okay. What the hell? Blue might have gone AFK. I think something else. I, I remember something else happened with my teammate right there. The visor detaches. Uh, oh my yeah, god, like, look. what's happening? <gasps> I mean, he just. I would have hit the ground and died. <laughs> <laughs> What? I would have for what sure hit the that? ground and died. Dude. Something else happened that was weird in that match. I remember vaguely. <clears throat> All right. Thanks, Decaf. Back to square one. Uh, 281 views six days ago. PUBG solo spectator. Oh, this was just now. Oh, this was the epic double hit crossbow on the one guy. We hit him twice with the crossbow from this distance. It took two shots to kill him. Remember, this was the challenge. Um... Get 10 gifted subs for one crossbow kill. <gasps> Yoinked him. I got him. <laughs> Yoinked him. Fucking nailed it to Let's go, dude. That was two, two shot. shots. Two shots on what him. What a shot. I mean, just... You don't expect to hit those. A, a moving, random 123 meter from a bush with a crossbow. Like, it's just... You just send it and your hope to the G baby Jesus. I got him! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Great freaking shot. What a shot! Good job, c What a shot! You're the best. Uh, that's got to be one of the most rewarding guns to get a kill with. Got to be. Uh, this one's by Squirrel. One of my IRL buds five years ago. 186 views. 
Mike, it's been real is the caption here. This is okay. All right. We're five years ago. So we're back 720p OG Xbox green screen. It's me and motorbike Mike alive in the UAZ. And for people who don't know what PUBG was like back in the day on console, this is, this is it. That suicide grenade is crazy, dude. It, it's a bad bug. It's a bad bug. And we're talking about bugs right now. The PTS, they'll likely fix it, but. Hello? Mike's laugh, dude. Just he starts wheezing. Starts <laughs> wheezing. We're a thousand <laughs> meters <laughs> under the sea. You can't heal. Oh, no. You can't do nothing. Oh, You're dead. Mike. It's been oh, real. Uh, no. <laughs> you drowned. <laughs> this is back when PUBG had bugs that okay. were legitimately wow. funny. We'll add that to the next YouTube video for bugs uh, tips and. That we'll suicide grenade is crazy. Legend. We're literally talking about bugs right now. Dude, dude yeah. it's a bad bug. It's a bad bug. Mike's like, uh, be careful in this little intersection here. You can kind of hear him. Here. It's a bad bug. Dude, yeah. it, it's a bad bug. It's a bad bug. Obviously, it's just in the PTS. Yeet! We fix it, but... <laughs> Somebody was there, too. Someone just shot at us right as we went under the ground. Obviously, it's just in the PTS. They'll likely fix it, but... And just psh, into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Mike starts wheezing. <laughs> Hello? Oh man. What the hell? Wash out? Th this was the Xbox experience though. You would like map would just unrender. You'd walk through a building. You'd fall under the map oh, no. like. Oh, no. oh Mike, it's been oh, real. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, though that was it was funny though. It was funny. <laughs> Cause it's okay, like, what are you? Well, yeah, what do you do? We'll add that to the next YouTube video for bugs, uh, tips and booth. That's the worst. <laughs> when you get hit with a crossbow and your teammate revives you, and the crossbow stays in your in your freaking line of sight. Thank you for the clip, squirrel. Appreciate it. Uh, when your duo partner lags out and you're six kills down. Five years ago, I clipped this. Your six kills down, time to get real. Oh, this was a middle of a tournament. This was the middle of a tournament. Okay, did I actually do anything good here? Five years ago, I might have thought I did good. I might have played like potato. I have an ump and an M24. There's eight people alive. Let's see. It's a good shot. Audio is like bugged. I can't like hear any... Gun sounds is very, very low. Oh, double headies. See, don't behave. Damn, triple headies. Hold on, hold on, hold on, folks. Look how slow it is to like aim the control stick. What? Folks. You missed. There you go. That wasn't a headshot though. You missed that one. I think. Let's go, baby. I'm dominating. I'm dominating. So, Let's go, baby. if I remember There's right, sniper in my hand. Don't, test me. don't test them. What this tournament was, we had to queue up as a squad together. And it was me and motorbike Mike versus pure customs and Mike Stan. I'm pretty sure it was with motorbike Mike. It, it, maybe, maybe it wasn't motorbike, but we, we queued up together as a squad but we split off and it was like a kill race. So like me and my teammate would see how many kills we could get. And then, uh, Stan and customs would see how many kills they can get. Whoever had the most kills at the end of the round wins. So we're on the same team, but we're not allowed to like, you know, shoot each other or like, you know, uh, all of whatever. Yeah. So it's just a kill race and my teammate lagged out. Yeah. My duo partner lagged out and we had, we were six kills down. And so I just freaking turned and burned. But it, you know, it's, it's just so funny watching this because even though these are like good sniper shots, it now that I play PC, it feels like, yeah, the ump was nine mil back in the day. That's right. You can just see how slow everything is on console.
Now, granted, this is five years ago, so people are, are better now and they're faster on the sticks and all that kind of stuff. But it, when people say like, how different is PUBG console to PC? Like it's, it's a night and day different. It's a different game. Like, look at how, just how slow, like tracking the shot is like, right. it's a good damn shot. But like just you, know, you peek and it's like a three second interval. Then, then now we get the shot. And there we get the shit. I guess like everything's like, you know, slow motion. Oh no, it's Mikey. DPX Mikey is my teammate. I see his what? name there. Oh. <laughs> and so I'm just mopping up the last few kills, getting us back into the race here. Let's go, baby. Uh, did I have... Let's go, baby. <laughs> Put a sniper in my hand. Don't test me. The ump was nine mil in, in this in this clip, right? Just go, straight baby. squad wipe them boys. Yeah, look, nine mil. The ump was nine mil there. Look at how much ammo I had for my bolty. I freaking almost 200 rounds on my bolt. Thank you. Um okay. Thank you, CDM, for that clip. This next one was 10 days, 10 days ago, 163 views, um, clan dome community games. I see a gondola and, oh, RPGs. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. This is embarrassing. Yep. Yep. That was embarrassing. You fucking kid. <laughs> that was embarrassing. No fucking shot. <laughs> such an idiot. No fucking shot. Oh. I'm such an idiot. I got two Panzers, a level one vest. I'm about to parachute off and, and 007 the rest of the squad and save my, save my boys. Literally jumped right into, into my death. I unalive myself. I mean, instantly knocked out to fall damage. I smacked my head on this pipe. Knocked myself out and then died to falling. Fuck it, there's like three in there. Embarrassing. You fucking kid. No, I'm not <laughs> not kidding. Uh this next one's five years ago. Breaky 101. Shout out to Breaky. The clip is waiting. <clears throat> Titled Waiting. <laughs> I think this is bad. Okay. I remember this one. You ever have that one teammate that is just always make, making selfish decisions? They're playing with a full squad of people, but it's all about them. That was my buddy, Pure Customs, a.k.a. Reese the Beast. And in this particular clip, now granted, this is before PUBG implemented bandaging while driving. Some people don't even remember that that wasn't a thing. There used to be a time when you could not move and heal. You couldn't even slowly walk while you bandaged. You had to sit still. Then you, then you could heal in the vehicle. It was like a progression that they did. And everyone's ready to go. We all need a little bit of health. No one's full health, but I need a little bit of health. And we're all waiting on this dude to get in. And for whatever reason, I'm just fed up with it. And then Stan even says, can you get in? Come on, Reese, get in. <clears throat> and off we go. Uh, what's the lay down, lay down, Char dad clip this. Oh, is this Miss D? <gasps> Miss D, I think you're up next in the spotlight. Tell me this is featured. This is featured now. Uh, three years ago, the one and only, the Miss D. Let me feature that one. Uh, feature that one. This one's titled Lay Down, Lay Down. Miss D was playing in a squad community night with us, and she is the last one alive. What's up, Luck? And it's me, Toe Tag, and Sano. Misty is alive. 
and um, she's doing her best. She's getting pushed by a full squad, mind you. She may or may not be freaking out. Your window now. Do you right. You're good. You. You're fine. Just sit still. Sit still. Sit still. Lay down. Lay down. You. They, they know you're there. <laughs> she doesn't say anything the whole clip. And it's just, was this the first time you played with us too? Oh my God. We, so we're, we're in her ear. We're trying to tell her like what to what to do, like trying to give her tips. We should have just shut up. Bless her heart. She's got a scar and a shotgun. She's got the scar out. There's a tra uh, a gas can right here, which is about to burst any minute now. And we're trying to tell her like, everything's fine. They, they don't know you're there. Just lay down. And then she finally goes prone in your ear. <laughs> the Molotov <laughs> thrown in the window. Your window now. Do you right? You're good. You. You're fine. Just sit, sit still. Sit still. Sit still. Sit still. Santa goes, they don't know. Wait, they know. They know. Lay down, lay down. You, you hear the, the Molotov? The guy pulls the Molotov out. She finally goes prone. <laughs> <laughs> she goes prone in the fire. I know you're there. <laughs> <laughs> It is out of nowhere. He just he just lets us have it. For fuck's sake, shut up, guys. That's a legendary community clip right there, Ms. D. I love that one. Oh, I love that one so much, man. Thank you, Shardad, for clipping that. Um, next is five months ago, 141 views by Beton. Don't you don't you jump next time while crawling. Don't you jump next Oh, th this is another angle from Bob from I'm telling you guys, this one was not my fault. So, somebody clip this right now and send it to him. Watch this. Watch Look. it. Watch. Look at his body. Look at his it's body. Levitating. levitating. He's, he's levitating. He's floating into my rocket. He wants to Look die. Look. You're le you're literally flying into my no. rocket right now. It's not you my are fault. Literally flying up into my into, line of fire. It's your fault. I, I, what do you want me to do about it? Dude, fucking destroyed <laughs> I mean, him. Some, <laughs> deleted that him. That is some malarkey. I mean, from my perspective, it literally. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, Olsa Knight, two years ago, 140 views. What do you got to say, Olsa Knight? Lol. It's, it's a big lol clip. What is it? Seven kills. Better luck next time. How did I die? Are you ready? Wait, watch this. Yeah. Oh. oh watch it. <laughs> If this isn't featured, this one's getting featured. This, this honestly might be one of the funniest clips I've ever had on my channel. This is when I play, was playing with Molu, my good buddy Molu, who I got to meet at TwitchCon, him and his son, awesome guy. <clears throat> we used to play duos all the time. And uh, there was this replay bug. You, you know how chat, you can emote you can do a dancing emote and your character will like, he'll move forward if you hold W and he's doing like the, the dancing emote. This bug was like that, but like cranked up to 10. Watch it. Are you ready? Wait, watch this. Yeah. So I'm, we're oh, dead. Watch, watch, it. <laughs> watch him see me coming to you. My character's doing the dancing This emote. is the enemy oh, looking at me. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Molly's laugh, dude. What is he thinking when he sees that? I'm just all fucking dab. <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> that one is funny, man. Oh, that was a man. funny bug. Because <laughs> the enemy, like, what is going through this guy's watch, mind? Watch watch he sees Molu knocked. Coming to you, my character is doing the dance. <laughs> my guy is just I'm fucking doing the dance. <laughs> <laughs> Sk <laughs> skipping on a one leg. <laughs> Mola just loses it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is he thinking when he sees that? I'm just all fucking dab. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh fuck. it's too much, dude. I can't take it. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> That one, if that one's not featured, it's got to get featured, dude. That's not... Fe okay, it is now. Oh, let me download that, dude. I can't lose that one. Thank you all tonight. That was a legendary clip. Dude, that one's so fucking funny. Like, I have never seen something that funny before. <laughs> Doing the fucking dancing, skipping on one leg, dabbing to go get your knock teammate in the middle of a battlefield. <laughs> Oh man, classic dude. Fucking classic. What's up, student? How you doing, buddy? Oh man. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was E pickup. That was two years ago. Yep. <clears throat> he must have E picked up or, or did a glider up there. Uh the next one was five days ago. 129 views. Um stunned for the chicken dinner by Chai Town Larry. Oh, this was uh the one where I was about to throw at Bob. One stun, two stuns. <laughs> Let's go! I got him with him. I stunned him. <laughs> GG, oh, dude. Great, and he was a good GG, sport about it. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. GG, buddy. He said, "GG, oh, nice stun holy gun." Shit, we did it, dude. You did it, dude. You clutched Woo. it. <laughs> I was stunned. I was the one that got farmed for one. Let's That's right, go, Bob. Man. The tables have turned to. Th oh. That was my first stun gun chicken dinner. And he had level three gear too. <laughs> Let's go. I got him with him. I stunned him. <laughs> Usually somebody would be very mad about that. But that guy was not mad at all. <clears throat> he was a good sport. Uh, this next clip five months ago, 99 views by Fasten Games. Sure you can is the title of the clip. I don't know what happened just now. Ah, this is my my legendary Vikendi Panzer tactic back when there's tactical gear. Me and Cheeto Barito are playing. One down. Yes. Two down. <laughs> <laughs> It's such That's a troll. When you don't expect the unexpected. Sure you can. Sure you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine landing with no win. gear, no armor, no helmet, no backpack, and you just see somebody land on top of you with two RPGs. And you're kitted. <laughs> Cheetah's little giggle. That's what happens when you don't expect. Yeah, the stun gun is O frickin' P, man. Like how how long it can go? <clears throat> Six months ago, this next one, double kill by Fred McFeely. Oh, me and Bob, Destin Bridge Camp. One down, two down. <laughs> There is something so satisfying about these these bridge camp games on Destin. This is back when we had drones too, tactical gear. What I tell you? I mean, you and your boy are driving, and then me and my boy one shot both of y'all. Pop. pop. <laughs> <laughs> both headshots. That was a good one. 
Oh, this is one of my favorites. This one's Biddies to Boom by Zombie Stomper. 48 views six years ago. This is when me and the boys are playing. Me, Motorbike Mike, Long Snapper 99, aka P Money, and my boy I False. We're squad deep. And Matt's laugh. Yes, Matt's laugh gets this one for oh, me. Almost can't even see it, bitch. Console PUBG. Super laggy, super framey. We here. I'm yes, green screened with the motorcycle. Here we go. Here they come. Here comes Mike and Matt. <laughs> you could hear Matt go, oh, because Matt's on the thing with him and Matt doesn't die. Just Mike dies. And so they hit the, the they couldn't see the bike under the water. So they were just driving the buggy to get to the boat and they hit my bike. What are the odds? What are the odds of that? And then they just go flying and somehow Matt lives. He, oh. <laughs> Wait, actually, I think that's P. I think P goes, oh, and then Matt busts out laughing. <laughs> Got him again. <laughs> Got him again. <laughs> classic, dude. Oh, that's classic, man. Oh, how about this one? April clipped this one. This was a gas me up moment. I was playing with Tig, Cat Conti. Coming from a uh, who else? So Ansley. This was during the Blue Bomb Rush tournament, and I had Tig and Ansley hyping me up on this quick scope. Be mid. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it was the clip was cut short there. Oh my! Whoop. Be mid. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Connector, be mid. Oh. Oh. And Tig goes, oh my, and Anza goes, whoop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, shit. 9v1 melee. Ba oh, back when we used to do PUBG custom, 10 man customs on console, we'd host community night. What's up, Trey? What up, Hugo? We'd host community night on console. You would make a custom server and random people would join in and flood in. And this is when it was 10 man squads, me <clears throat> and all the boys. And this particular clip, there's nine people left or 10 people left. Nine of them were on my team. And we, we bum rush this last guy. Where is he? I don't see him yet. We're this all melee so only. Good. He's so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Smokes are everywhere. He's on Mike, on motorbike Mike. Get him! <laughs> We're all Get swarming him. this guy. <laughs> <Get him. laughs> Let him have it! Look at no. all the numbers on him. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Get your ass back over Look, here. Get your ass back over here. <laughs> Come here. Come here. He's trying to kill himself with a grenade. Oh, a grenade. Yeah. Watch out! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's the good old days right Where is there, I don't man. See him yet. This poor soul, he's so dead. He's so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> that's the good old days, Smokes dude. Everywhere. He's I mean, just all the numbers guys. swarming him. He's got a UMP. Get he's trying to kill people. He's do, doing whatever he can to take people out. He's swarmed. No. He got I'm sloppy. Not he not got not Mike. <laughs> We're all chasing him. Oh here. man. We got the legend Ronnie, RIP to the dog, Flint's in here, Dirty's in here, Easy, Colt, the OGs, man. Damn, that's a throwback, dude. Let me feature that. That's a goddamn throwback. If you guys want to go look at more of my old OG clips, feel free to go to Twitch. You can go to clips and sort them by years and go uh, have yourself a nice little blast from the past, but that was fun. All right, so that's what I wanted to do before we actually go play some PUBG. Take a trip down memory lane, go look at some OG uh, fun clips from the community, unbox all the PUBG shenanigans, 
and uh, just talk about some of the goals for 24 and some of the accomplishments for 23. So thanks for, uh, for humoring me for that. Now let's go uh, play some PUBG.